Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Nahid Akhtar and in this video, I'm going to show you how to switch axes in Google Sheets. When you create a chart in Google Sheets, you'll find that Google Sheets automatically selects columns for the X and Y axes. For example, here is some data with height and weight of different individuals. Let's first create a simple scatter chart with this data. To create a chart, we select the data and navigate to Insert Chart. This opens the Chart Editor sidebar as you can see. Now notice that the chart displays the first column as the x-axis and the second column as the y-axis. But what if we don't want that? What if we want to switch the axis and have the height in the y-axis and the weight in the x-axis? I'll get to that in a minute, but before that, a quick tip. If you have your chart open but can't see the chart editor, all you need to do is click anywhere on the chart and you should see an ellipsis or three dots like this. This is also known as the hamburger button in some places. So click on this button and you will see a menu. Click on edit chart and you'll see the chart editor sidebar appear. Another way is to right click anywhere on the chart and select data range from the context menu that appears. Now in the chart editor, you can see options to set the X axis and series. Now under X axis, you can see the column that is being used to define your X axis. In our case, it is height. To change it, simply click on the column and select the column name that you want as the X axis. So we want the weight on the X axis. Next, we want to change the Y axis. Under series, you can see the column that defines the Y axis. In our case, it is weight and we want to change it to height. So click on it and select height. Now our chart has been updated all right. We do have the weight along the X axis and the height along the Y axis, but notice that the axis labels have not changed. We can still see the label for the X axis as height and that of the Y axis as weight. No problem at all. All we need to do is double click and change the label for both of them. So we make this weight and this height and click anywhere outside. There we go. And that's it. We've now switched the X and Y axis of our chart. Another quick tip. If you have say a lot of columns and you want to not just switch up but completely change the axis, then you could remove the data range for the axis. So just click on this, these three dots and click on remove and then re-add the data range that you want for the axis. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked it, as always, hit the like button and press subscribe for more. Thank you and have a nice day.